And this is the one that we have been waiting for. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We call it the Oklahoma drill. Oh yeah. Christopher Ash is up. It's gonna be the same thing as the shoots. You know, the best two out of three. All right, so here we go, Chris's first run. Tackling is front of base, or if he gets turned around and forward progress stops. Here we go. Not bad at all. He didn't get in, but, all right. And Chris being a powerful back, he just was not able to get in on that first run. Got turned around. And that's the thing that we talked about with the shoots. With the being shoot. able to get through yeah, that example. hole and not get turned around. Yeah, prime example. Prime example. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> nice run, powerful run, and he gets the point. All right, last try for Chris. So far, he's got one point. And at that time, he showed just great power, just getting through that hole. Um, very explosive. Here we go. <laughs> Chris and another good run. And I'll tell you one thing. What I like about Chris is he hit the hole, and when he made contact, he didn't stop. He, he just stop. kept going. Kept going. It's good power. Okay, here we go. Jamie Cox. And boy, I tell you, he's explosive. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness! <laughs> it was Whoa. over before it got started. Wow! That was incredible. He should get two points just for that run. <laughs> wow. Okay, here we go. After an incredible first run, my goodness, Jamie Cox is explosive. And he is very fast. <laughs> Another one gets turned around at the line. All right, last run for Jamie Cox. Here we go. <laughs> and not able to get in. They turned him around at the line. He's got good speed, but I don't know if he can take a hit. Yeah, well, he, he, he his speed will make up for a lot, but if he gets hit into the line, he doesn't have that power. No. And, and some of these teams are very strong, you know, like the Ohio State's. Uh, yeah. You know, South Carolina State. Central Arkansas, um, Dennis Wellmaker. Yeah. Dennis Wellmaker yeah. put the pot on him. Yeah, yeah. Dennis Wellmaker will put a tattoo on you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, but he he he's going to fit in. He'll fit in. And if the thing about him, if he ever get past that second level. It's good. It's good night. It's good night. It is good night. Did not do well. Um, Doug didn't get any points in the shoots. So, um, Doug Litch. Yeah. He didn't get any points in the shoots. Um, he got his two points in the 40. So, here in the Oklahoma drill, he's got to redeem himself. He's got to come out of this with some points. All right. So, here we go. <laughs> First run. And I can't really give it to him because he went outside he went of the outside. cones. All right, so no point for that first run because um, he went outside of the cones. So let's see how he does on this next. Not able to get there. Not able to get there. And I'll tell you one thing, Daddy. Doug Litch is having a horrible day. Yeah. Um, he's just, he's not getting anything going here. So far, nothing. Wait, well, you, you know, the last combine we had, we had one player in particular that had a hard time. That's true. That turned out to be a superstar. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, he's on that Aggie team. That is true. Huh? That is true. If I'm not mistaken, he's on that Aggie team. So, uh, but uh, we we think Doug, he, he, he's going to be a fit for somebody. But you got to understand that this Oklahoma drill is probably the toughest drill that we have lined yeah, up today. Yeah, I think today. so. I think so. And, and, uh, it is not easy. It, it's not an easy drill. Uh, so the one that get the points on, on this drill. They're going to earn it. They're going to earn it. It <laughs> will be earned. You're right. So here we go. <laughs> Doug looked like, uh-oh, um, that was not front of base. No, <laughs> oh, and he almost got in. He almost got in. Yeah, we got to give him a, give him an effort for, for trying. That was not too bad, <coughs> but I like to see him do better. Nice Sean McArthur, another favorite for South Carolina State. So let's see how the big guy does. Great power. Great power. Nothing stopping him. 
That was an incredible run. <laughs> that was just ridiculously. He's very powerful. Coming in at 5.3 grams. Very like, strong run. Very, very strong. He was determined he was going to cross that goal line. And, Here we go. and his effort got him there. Oh, yeah. Another good run. Incredible. Right up the gut. He read the blocking, man. Oh, yeah. That was just good. He block. read, he read block. the blocking well. He already got his two points, so really ain't no reason for us to do this third one, but yeah, just for shits and giggles, right? Shits yeah, and giggles. He, <laughs> he wants to show the others. This is how it's done, guys. This is how you do it. Oh, he oh, made it look easy. He made it look easy. All right, so here we go, Micah Musi. This is the South Carolina State favorite right here. So let's see how he did. Oh, big hit. Micah gets spun around. Ooh, did he take a lick? Boy, he got tattooed on that one. All right, so Micah took a big hit on that last run. All right, so here we go. And Micah, nice run. He gets in. He barely stayed inside the cones on that one. All right, last run for Micah. <laughs> nice, and got in. A great cutback. Got easy. his two points. Made look easy. Following his blocks. All right, here we go. John Reinhardt. <laughs> nice run. Oh, he falls over. Right at the goal at line. At the goal line. Right at the goal oh, line. Oh, man. Tripped up. tripped up. Right, so I was just saying, and I said this off camera, but I'm going to point this out now. You know, in the Fed Aid Conference, if you take a hit and you fall over, not only is there the risk of injury, but it's also a fumble for runners who get who fall over um, after taking a hit. And in this case, that would have been a fumble. And turnovers can kill you. Yeah. So we can't have those kinds of things. Like, he's got to be able to hit that hole and, and not get knocked over. Yeah, that's, that's, that's in this league. You don't want to turn the ball over. Yeah, this that that worries me a little. Let's see how he does. On Good power, and he got in. Good job. All right, he managed to get one point out of that. That was a good run. Let's see how he does on this last run. Nice. Wow, he just ran his blocker over. Run him over. Do it is. Yep, that's his two points. That's two points. Good job. All right, guys. So we're on to our next drill. And we're looking at run blocking right now. We're looking at Christopher Ash up here. He's got to take on this block and allow Jamie Cox to get in the end zone. So we're interested in seeing how good these guys run block. This is more of a drill suited for the fullback position. So let's see how he does. Great block. And wow, Jamie is so fast. It's just it's crazy, it's crazy. how fast it's that speed. guy is. His speed is crazy. Okay, so now we're doing run blocking. Um, the way we're setting up our run blocking is blocking straight ahead, then blocking in like a counter or a sweep scenario left and then right. So right here, he's going to be blocking to the right. Here we go. Another good block, and Jamie's in the end zone. There's another good block. Good job. Okay, and the last one this time, blocking to the left. Good block, and Jamie's in. It's a great job. You know, I was just mentioning this to Big Dog. You know, you you have you have a running back like Jamie Cox, with just blinding speed. Um, but then the question is, you have a Joel Brown in the backfield running the ball on a sweep or on a counter tray, and Jamie is lead blocker. Does he make the good block? You know, or do you end up getting tackled for a loss because of a fail block? Yeah. So let's see how, how Jamie does. First blocking straight ahead. <laughs> nice. And he gets in. Yeah, the just the incredible speed, the explosive speed, like he just explodes into the tackler and he's able to move him out of the way and allow Chris to get through Good and point. score. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it wasn't a holding block, but it was just explosive Good power. Wow. You know, that's all you needed was to redirect him. Not bad. So let's see how he does. Another good block. Now, now Chris was tackled that time. He was tackled that time. It was it was it was good contact. Yeah. Great but contact. he you know, he didn't hold it long enough. Yeah. 
All right, so he wasn't able to hold a block on that last one. And I was just mentioning this, you know, just because these athletes can't lead block well, you know, sometimes I think it just means, especially in Jamie Cox's case, he, you know, he's the kind of athlete that, that is going to shine on a team that prides itself in a one-back formation pro set or is running is um running the ball from a one-back or throwing the ball a lot, allowing him to get screen passes and bubble routes and stuff like that. That's where he's going to shine. Yeah. He's not going to do well on a team that runs wishbone and wing tee and that kind of thing right. that's going to put him in a situation where he has to block a lot. Yeah. He's, he's not the, the ideal back for blocking, but the one thing he has going for him is – his contact on the block that he made, that he makes, they are explosive. Yeah, they're very violent. Uh, but but he's not a very strong blocker. But but he 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 is he does make great contact when he when he makes uh when he's out there blocking. Absolutely. Which sometimes all it takes is what we call just get in the way just for a get split, in the way. for a split second. Oh, he ran him over. Nice. All right, on to Doug Litch, okay, for his pass block, for his um, run blocking drill, right? And, you know, we were just talking about this. Doug is having a hard time today. Doug has a grand total of two points. He got no points in the shoots and no points in the Oklahoma drill. Um, he's identified Ohio State, South Carolina State, and Michigan as his top schools. And right now, um, Coach Bernie Jones was just kind of saying that he was just not impressed. So we're going to see. Maybe Doug is not a running back. Maybe he's a lead blocking maybe, back. Maybe he so let's see what he can do. <laughs> Great blocking. Block. Great blocking. And that is a touchdown. That is a touchdown. Good job. And that was an awesome job. And I think we just found his strength. Yeah. Because that time yeah. he took on two blockers yeah. and moved them both out the way. That was a really good job. <laughs> Another good block. Another good block. Not, not <laughs> bad at all. Not bad at all. The running back has to turn up and get yeah. in there, but that was a good block. All right, here we go. So last one. He is showing good promise at blocking. <laughs> oh, great, oh, great block. block. He made the tackle, but just an incredible block. Oh, he wiped him out. He Absolutely. Him out. Yeah, Nishan is having a field day today. He is just racking up points. Let's see how good he blocks. <laughs> incredible, incredible block. block. Good tackle as well. But we've already identified Doug is not a runner. He's, he's more of a, a fullback, more yeah. of a lead blocker. Yeah. He may be able to get you those short short, you know, one or two yards. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, number two. <laughs> Another good Another block. Good just block. great blocking. All right, last shot for Nyshawn. Just great blocking. <laughs> oh, total package, and that's going to be a fumble. But the blocking, I mean, he just, he put the defender on his behind. All right. Run blocking on to Micah Moosey, South Carolina State favorite. Let's see how he does. <laughs> oh, man, he got ran over. <laughs> and that is a touchdown, and that was just a really good block. All right, let's see how Micah blocks going to the left. <laughs> oh, big hit. Big hit, and that ball wow. is on the ground. Wow. Did he get sandwiched? Boy, he got... Correct. <laughs> All right, last one. Great block. Good job. John Reinhardt here. Let's see how he does with his blocking. Blocking straight ahead. Um, you know, very, very quick tackle. The blocking was solid. All right, block number two. Here. Good, block. Good block. Just a great block. Good. Still holding the block. Mm -hmm. And so you got to give him his two points. He's there. Hitting him. Oh, yeah. He is hitting him. Let's see how he blocks going off to the left. <laughs> oh, great, great block. Beautiful. Good run. Good run. And a good run. All right. This is the last drill of the day. We are back to Christopher Ash, who I think has probably clinched it already. 
Not sure how many points he has, but I think um, at the least he's probably sitting at around 10. Big dog, what we got? He got 10. He's got 10 points. 10 points. All right, here we go. On the corner drill. This we want to see the speed of the running back to just get to the end zone, get to that pylon. And <laughs> oh, that was a tackle. Not quite. All right, so that's one fail. We're going to run through this. <laughs> nice tackle. Nice. Not able to get there. That linebacker's coming up making two. <laughs> here we go. Another big hit. And he almost got ran over. All right, on to Jamie Cox. And the corner drill is a speed drill. We just want to see if they can get past those those um, those um defenders in open space. Can the defenders come up and make a good open field tackle? <laughs> Yeah, he stopped him. He didn't get in. All right, number two. Can Jamie... Ooh, that was close. I think he got tackled, though. Yeah. Last one for Jamie Cox. That time we went back and reviewed it, um, and he actually was not tackled. It was side of base. So we had to give him the point for that one for getting in. How many points does Jamie Cox have, big dog? Cox, two, three, four, five. He's got 10 points right here. So this he could come away with 11 on the <laughs> After a great run, and he's in. And that'll do it for Jamie Cox. That will end his day with 11 points. All right, here we go. Um, on to Doug. <laughs> Doug got tackled, but boy, I tell you, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He spun that tackle around. Right. Doug need to get some points out of this, though. He needs to try and get some <laughs> Got one, got ran one. him over. Got one. Wow, that's a big boy. Ran the defender over and got in the end zone. All right, here we go. So we're just discussing this. Doug Litch right now has nine points, and he can earn one point here. If he can, if he can get to this end zone here, he can end up with ten points. And then the bonuses from the teams, we'll find out. You know, he might not get any bonuses from the teams that he's picked. He might end up, you know, having to go somewhere else. Well, we'll see how it works. Hey, he ran him over, man. Yeah, I, I think we got to give him that. I, I think because that was contact. not front of base. In the end, I think he made contact right on the end zone. In the end zone, we got to give him that. Nice shot, McGo. He made it look easy. He can come over fourteen. Yeah, he. Let's see what he does. <laughs> That's another one. Here we go, last one. Sean, he gets in again. All right, so Micah on the corner. <laughs> Micah gets hit. Big hit big and hit. fumbles the ball. All right, here we go. So Micah took a big hit on that first. <laughs> Not able to get in. All right, here we go. <laughs> one big hit turned around. Not able to get in the end zone. All right, here we go. So, guys, we are down to the very last drill of this combine, and then we're going to have to tally things up, and we'll let you guys know what's going to happen here. On to John Reinhardt. Here we go. <laughs> Reinhardt takes a big hit, not able to get in. Great tackle. All right on the second. Got in. Got in. Last <laughs> John, and he gets in. He put a move on him. He put a nice move on him. Dipped to the inside and got the last point. Well, guys, that is the end of our scout combine for the six prospects for the running back and fullback position in the East. The next com the next scout combine will be the running backs, the six running backs from the West, which we will be doing uh, after this one is posted. For right now, you guys stand by. All of the coaches have to get together. We have to go over this with you guys. It's going to be a series of videos that we're gonna be doing. So the next video you're going to see is the points for and points against um, teams based on our tabulation of you know everything that has happened in this combine. So for right now, the Aggie coach and Big Dog, we're gonna be signing out um, the combine, the first combine, the first scout combine for the East uh, our prospects in the Eastern Division in the East uh, is now done. So. We're going to tabulate everything up. We'll get back to you guys.